A defense attorney for George Wagner Jr. argued today that the prospective jury pool is not as representative as it should be. That's based on jury request mailed to about a thousand residents here in Pike County. That motion, like several others, was overruled by Judge Randy Deering, paving the way for jury selection to begin. In April 2016, a series of lethal and targeted overnight murders shocked people who call Pike County home. In all, eight members of the Roden family were shot execution style. It took more than two years for detectives to arrest four people in connection with the crimes, George and Angela Wagner, and their sons, George IV and Jake Wagner. Then on the fifth anniversary of the massacre, Jake Wagner confessed, agreeing to a plea deal designed to keep his parents and brother from getting the death penalty. It was a stunning turn of events. And you know, that he's going to agree to, to not only take a life imprisonment without parole, but testify against his mother, his father, and his brother. And I mean, it's just like, whoa. Nobody could have expected this. Jake Wagner's plea deal is sure to be a focal point when George Wagner Jr.'s trial starts in about two weeks. That's because Wagner's attorney, John Parker, says the confession makes it clear his client killed no one. But Special Prosecutor Angela Canepa said during a hearing late last year that Parker's claim missed the mark. You know, he says uh, we made a deal with the devil. Unfortunately, there's more than one devil in this case, and that is all four of the individuals who are charged in this matter. And now that today's hearing is in the books, all eyes turn to Monday and the start of jury selection. It's a process that's expected to take more than two weeks time. And after that, opening statements will mark uh, the start of the trial for George Wagner IV. It could consume the entire month of September. Reporting live tonight in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News.